Hey everyone, as you probably guessed on the title, I am rebuilding my computer. So here's some of the parts. So I'm building this, I'm rebuilding it, sorry, right after filming the dismantling video. As you can see, I'm in the same clothes, but I do not want to be a day without my computer. So let's quickly go through the parts. So firstly, we have these cable extensions. Um, there is a fourth one. Um, for in case your graphics card needs two eight pins or an eight plus six pin configuration, but mine doesn't. Um, these are not cable mod cables. I can't remember what brands they are, but got them off AliExpress. Next thing is this Corsair RGB LED lighting kits. It's just the lighting strips. It doesn't have the Node Pro in it, but I've already got one um, from light loop fans. Next we have our RAM. It is Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM. It's two eight gigabyte sticks, so 16 gigabytes in total at 3200 megahertz. Let's have a look at the back. Um, so it's CAS 16 RAM. Next thing we have the LED enhancement kits for the Vengeance Pro RGB. So these are blank dims, it's, there's two of them. So these are for just basically making sure all your dim slots are full. Next, we have the internal USB hub. I have actually already had this in my computer, but it was supposed to be a new product for this video. So I am including it here anyway. Next, we have this SATA extension cable. Got a little feedback. Next, we have the Z390 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. This will be my new motherboard. It's a Z390 chipset, so it will support my 8th gen i7 CPU. So I am looking forward to that. It's got a much better VRM solution than what I previously had. Next things next, we have a single Corsair LL120 RGB fan. This one is hopefully gonna go in the back of the case. That's the idea, but well, I got that many fans at the moment that this really could end up anywhere. And then we've got two LL120 three packs of fans. These both have the Node Pro in them. Um, one of these is much lighter because the fans are already installed onto my radiator. Next we have the radiator, the Corsair H150i Pro RGB. They traditionally come with free 120ml fans, but I brought this. Uh, technically, I didn't buy it from a store. I brought it off a Facebook marketplace. Um, it wasn't used when I got it, but it was missing two of the maglev 120 millimeter fan, so I've only got the one. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to install this one or not. If I am, let me show you. I will be installing it here at the bottom of the case. And that's basically it for the new parts. So I'm gonna get rebuilding my computer.
So yeah, there we have it. It's been a couple of days since I've finished rebuilding it. I did it all in one day. I did the dismantling video and I did the rebuild all in one day. It's been a couple of days since then. I did it everything Saturday and today is Tuesday. So I'm quite happy with it. I played around with the lighting a little bit. So yeah, this was more of an aesthetic change than a performance change. Okay, I'll put in a better motherboard. It's got a much better BRM solution and whatnot. But really, this was an aesthetic change. And either way, without all the parts, I was going to pull all the cabling out and make it look tidier. And well, I hope I have achieved that somewhat. So I want to base the lighting off things. The original idea was going to be Gundam. So let me show you. It's primarily Gundam 00 with the whole XEO line of... Gundam's a whole pile, but I've got a couple of the models here on my desk. So I won't go with what they're called to me, that's a waste of time, but I want to go for the colour scheme. So these are actually both the same model, just they're two different grades. So I'm trying to go for the white, blue and the green thing. Primarily, it's got red feet, red hip kind of thing, so it somewhat ties in with the red cables. And it glowing pink is like his Super Saiyan. That's what this is. So I'm either trying to, going to model it off these Gundams, or I want to model it after this. This is the Shield Liger AV model. So it's from Zoids. So the color scheme would be something along these lines here. The RAM is actually glowing red with a white wave. It really isn't showing all too well on the camera. But yeah, anyway, so either modeling it off the Zoid or the Gundams I just showed you and really I want you guys to help me decide. So let me know in the comment section below what you think looks better. And really what you guys decide is probably going to be what I pick and therefore what the build will be named at the end. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, toss me a like. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Will be an awesome help help you stay up to date when I upload more videos. Thank you all for watching and I hope that you join me in the next video. See ya.